Oh man, man, oh man. Uh, yeah, this this is not a video that I even want to make. It's it's actually pretty crazy. Uh, I'm not gonna do my normal intro. You guys see the title. You see the thumbnail. No, this is not clickbait. Yes, this is real, and um, it's it's pretty crazy. So. Uh, just to give you guys a brief overview of what's going on, I post a video. I posted a video on my um, community tab last night from Pixel Dan. He really breaks down the the whole situation going on with YouTube and FTC and, and Copa and all the stuff that's going on, all the drama that's going on surrounding channels like myself, uh, channels like his, and other channels that are out there. Uh, so it's a great video. Uh, very informative, a lot of details, so make sure you guys go check it out. Uh, him and Shardmas Prime, I've been talking about it. Uh, very, very good in detail, um, so I'm not going to go too much in detail. But basically what's going on is with YouTube, right? So when you get uh, an ad on your video, uh, like when you're watching somebody's video and you get an ad, YouTube takes all the information from the videos that you've previously watched, all the stuff on your recommended feed, everything in YouTube's algorithm. It takes all that information to determine which is the best ad for you to see when you click on a video, right? So if you watch a bunch of Arcade one of videos, you may have started to notice that um, there's going to be you know, Arcade 1UP ads showing up while you're watching videos. Like, I, I've been seeing Arcade 1UP ads on my videos. Like, when I rewatch my videos, I've been seeing Arcade 1UP uh, ads on there. Uh, but if you're somebody who watches, like, a lot of fishing videos, you may see, a, like, a Bass Pro Shop ad on videos that you're watching. So, uh, YouTube kind of takes all the information from what you do and what you watch and everything and uh, determines which ad is best to show you. Uh, so that you could potentially, you know, maybe buy that product that you see on an ad or whatever. So you, you guys understand that. So um, the problem is kids, minors, you know, children under 13 um, use YouTube as well. Um, probably more than anybody, to be honest. Kids are on YouTube a lot. And, um, you know, it, it's the same thing with them. They watch videos of whatever. Uh, let's say they watch, like, My Little Pony videos or... Uh, Hot Wheels videos or some, you know something like that uh, you know Marvel videos of superheroes or whatever um, and YouTube takes the information from them and feeds them ads in the same way that it would feed us ads well technically that is against the law so uh, it's illegal to collect information from minors without a parent's consent and obviously that's what YouTube has been doing to feed them ads with the whole algorithm and everything and um so the FTC sued them, I believe it's for like $170 million or something like that. And basically what YouTube's done to kind of um, react to that, I guess, or cover their footsteps, so to say, um, they're basically singling out toy channels, just toy channels in general, whether it's preschool children's toy channels, toy channels like mine that focus on more of the collectible stuff or more... Uh, kind of just like stuff geared towards people, you know, teenagers and, you know, uh, adults, basically. Uh, they're just, they're throwing all toy channels into a bubble, and I think they're even throwing gaming channels and, like, streamers and stuff, depending, like, probably all those Fortnite channels, um, and I don't know what other games or whatever would be classified as, like, for kids, but they're throwing all that into a bubble and saying that we are making videos based, you know, geared towards children. Which obviously is not true. If you guys have seen my videos, like nothing I do is geared towards children. Even if I'm talking about a, a Hot Wheel, uh, like a little car, you know, I'm talking about the paint work, the sculpt work, the details in there, like stuff that kids would not even comprehend or even understand. Um, they're just throwing all of us into a bubble and basically trying to get rid of our channels. And basically that means that we will no longer receive premium ads on our videos which takes up 90% of YouTube ads, uh, so we'll only receive like general ads, which is only about 10%, which basically means you're not getting any ads on your videos, which means you can't get paid for your videos, which essentially means you're getting demonetized. Um, it also means that YouTube's going to delete our comment section on our videos, so you guys won't be able to comment on our videos anymore. Um, our videos won't show up in recommended feeds, which is where a lot of people find, you know, my videos, uh, either by recommended feeds or by just searching a product. So, uh, people searching Arcade 1UP videos, 
that won't come up. My videos, well, my RK one up videos haven't got hit yet, but there's a possibility that they might. Uh, but let's say like my Funko Pop videos, uh, whenever somebody's searching for a Funko Pop, my video won't come up in the search results, uh, which means people won't find my video, which means people other than my subscribers aren't going to watch my video, but even my subscribers get affected because if you guys have your notification bells on, you guys won't even get notified when I post a video. You have to physically go to your subscriptions and see if I posted a video or just, you know, come directly to my channel, but you won't get notified. My community tab will be gone. I won't be able to live stream. So essentially, I'll be able to post a video and whoever subscribed to me may see it. They may not see it. Uh, so essentially, they're trying to kill my channel. Now, um, it, it's very confusing because not all of my videos have gotten hit with the geared for kids. Um, all Basically, all of my Funko Pop videos have got hit. All of my Jada Toys, Fast and the Furious, what is it, 124 scale cars have all got hit. I think all my Hot Wheel videos have got hit. So far, my Arcade One Up videos are safe, but... Uh, it, it's just weird because it's just YouTube's system or algorithm that is really determining what is for kids and what is not for kids and it just kind of picks and chooses what it thinks may be for kids or when, may, what may not be for kids. And, um, you know, so like some of my toy videos have gotten hit, others haven't. Like, almost all my Funko Pop videos have been hit, but some of them haven't been hit. So, it's very hit or miss. There's... There's not an actual person determining, you know, what's appropriate and what's not. It's just YouTube system, and and that's that's it. And YouTube's not going to, you know, you can't put your channel under review basically for for a physical person to determine. So just as long as you're a toy channel, uh, or or I guess a gaming channel or anything that may be related to kids 13 and under, are getting hit. Now, like I said, obviously the the stuff that I'm talking about is not um is not geared towards children of that age um but there's there's a fine line that they're drawing because they're they're also saying even if it may not be geared specifically towards kids of that age let's say i'm talking about like a, a ninja turtle toy or a marvel legends you know spider-man toy or something even though it's not geared towards kids it includes a character a comic book character or a cartoon character that kids may be interested in, therefore they may still click on your video, even though your video is not geared towards kids. So it, it's very stressful because basically any toy video that you do, um, you're just getting thrown into the fire. And if you don't comply, so when, when we upload a video now on YouTube, it actually forces us to click. They have like a little checkbox, is your video made for kids, yes or no? Now, obviously, I'm clicking no because, like I said, what um, the videos that I make, even though, yes, they are toys, and yes, I guess toys are for kids, but toys are also for adult collectors as well. There uh, are toys, like Marvel Legends, are geared towards collectors. They have basic series Marvel toys that are geared for kids, but stuff like Marvel Legends, and even, yes, I guess Funko Pops are for kids, but they're also for adults as well, you understand? So, it's it's, it's a very fine line because... Stuff that could be for kids can also be for adults. Stuff that can be for adults could also be for kids. Like, a lot of my Funko Pops are based on, like, retro gaming, uh, like, Disney theme park stuff, uh, retro movies, rappers, uh, yes, some superheroes, and yes, I guess Batman is made for kids, but if I'm doing a video on the 1989 Batman movie, Funko Pop based on that movie, well, was that kid around in 1989? No, probably not. Do they have any idea what the 1989 or 1990s Batman movies are? No, probably not, especially if they're under 13 years old. They're not going to know what that is. So it's just very stressful, very confusing. Um, and I, like, I, I don't know what to do. Like, I obviously can't do toy reviews anymore. And, you know, that really sucks for me because my whole everything in this room is toy related my channel is called the toy room i started out on youtube i got popular on youtube before arcade one up doing toy videos i had before arcade one up blew up i had like 2500 subscribers just off of my toy reviews um and toy review videos are what i enjoy doing the most the arcade one up videos are cool um you know 
do I necessarily enjoy making an arcade one up video? Not that I don't enjoy it, but it's like, um, whenever new information comes out, it's not like I'm um, super excited to be like, you know, yes, new arcade one up information, I can make a video on it. Uh, I more so do it for you guys to keep you guys informed. And not to say that 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 probably sounded wrong and, and my wording's probably all off. Um, so don't take that the wrong way. And I'm not saying that I don't enjoy arcade one up videos. Uh, because obviously I do, and obviously I enjoy Arcade 1UP because I, I've purchased multiple cabinets, and I was the first person on YouTube who ever made an Arcade 1UP video. The, the day that Arcade 1UP was announced, uh, I was the first person making Arcade 1UP videos. Uh, a lot of these channels came later, uh, maybe like a month after Arcade 1UP had already been getting some steam, but since day one, I was the first one making Arcade 1UP videos. Um, if you weren't on the scene at the time, you probably may not know that it may seem like some of these other channels were and I'm not trying to sound like cocky or anything but I'm just trying to show you guys that um I'm not saying that I don't enjoy arcade one up because I was the first person covering arcade one up consistently two days after they were revealed I made my first video and made consistent videos after that so uh, not that I don't enjoy arcade one up but I'm just passionate about toys and toy videos toy reviews toy hauls toy unboxings and I, I actually got a bunch of toys that I've picked up and stuff that I'm planning to pick up that are coming out, like brand new Avatar The Last Airbender toys that I'm, I got really excited when I found out they were coming out, uh, which was just uh, two days ago. I got super excited about it. I was so excited to do a review. I wanted to pick them up and, and get a review out on them, uh, but I can't because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get hit. So I have to find a way to, to reinvent the channel so that YouTube doesn't completely kill my channel off because like I said not all of my videos have been hit because not all the videos I make are toy videos like I said I do make RK one up videos I do make some tech unboxing videos and like headphone reviews and stuff like that uh, and movie unboxings game unboxings whatever but I just have to find a way where I can reinvent the channel until this whole thing gets straightened out and I'm allowed to make you um, toy videos because right now I'm really not allowed, I mean I can make toy videos, but I'm, my, my channel is going to get killed for it. And if I continue to make toy videos and I say that they are um, not for kids, but YouTube YouTube's automatic system deems that it is for kids, then I'm going to keep getting hit and then eventually the FTC can come after me and basically find me. Like I think it's something crazy like $4,200 or $42,000, I don't remember, per video. Obviously, I don't got that kind of money. I can't even I'm not gonna I can't afford a lawyer. So it's a very fine line that I'm walking uh, I, I have a feeling that my channel may get killed off um, I Don't know it's, it's very tough especially with the channel with the title the toy room now. I don't want to change um, My channel name. Uh, I don't want to change my channel because obviously I've spent I think I've been on YouTube like four years now building this up and I think right now we're at like 6,600 subscribers or 6,700, something like that. Um, you know, I, I've been on the rise building this up, doing it my way, doing what I love, what I'm passionate about, and that's toys first and foremost, and then Arcade went up and other stuff as well. And, you know, it's been a slow grind. I definitely could have done some things to to grow faster, but uh, it, it like I could have solely just turned into an Arcade went up channel. But that's not me. Um, I, I would never, you know, I guess sell out in that way to become strictly an arcade one up channel uh, because I'm just so passionate about toys. Um, and I, I understand that doing toys is going to be a slow increase versus doing arcade one up. You've seen all these other channels that do arcade one up just shoot to the top. So um, I, I don't know. It's tough. I have to find a way to reinvent the channel. I have to. Uh, find other videos that I can make that aren't going to be considered for kids. I may have to start dropping a curse word or two in my videos so YouTube can pick that up and, um, you know, recognize that, you know, my channel is not for kids. Now, I don't like to curse on YouTube just because I, I feel like it's unprofessional, especially if, like, other companies out there are watching my videos and they may want to send me stuff. Uh, I just don't feel like if I'm cursing, that sends off a good image and, YouTube's algorithm is going to determine if I'm not cursing, then I'm family friendly, then I'm deemed for kids, but if I am cursing, but if I curse too much, then I'll still get demonetized because it won't be considered family friendly. I don't know, YouTube, it, it's just stressful. Um, and I've kind of rambled on about this for like 15 minutes now, but um, 
Yeah, I don't know, man. I'm not going to edit this video. I'm just going to throw the video up. Uh, I won't be able to. I was supposed to live stream, you know, yesterday for my weekly live streams, but I wasn't able to do that. I don't really have time to live stream today. I'm filming this in the morning. Uh, I'm going to upload this on YouTube and set it as a premiere so you guys will see this at like 7 or 8 o'clock at night. So it will still feel like a live stream. I'll be in the comments. I just won't. This video won't be live. It's a pre-recorded video, uh, but I'll be in the comments with you guys. Um... So yeah, I, there's it, it sucks. Um, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can comment at uh, the FTC. Kind of uh, don't like curse them out or be rude or anything, but we're just express your concerns and how they should really find a way to determine um, what is deemed for kids and what is not. Because an action figure review uh, on a Marvel Legends on a Funko Pop, uh, you know, talking about the sculpt work, the details, the articulation, you know, we, that shouldn't be classified as deemed, uh, for children, um, for kids 13 and under, just because it's a toy, yes, it's a toy, but, you know, it's a, it's a adult collectible, really, uh, we're not over here doing something like a Ryan's Toy Room, where we're showing, you know, our children out here playing with toys, or our children being in the video, well, I don't have any kids, but, uh, other channels as well, I'm just speaking for the toy community as a whole, you know, we're not reviewing preschool toys. We're reviewing adult collectible action figures that adults collect. Yes, some children may buy Marvel Legends or some parents may buy Marvel Legends for their kids. But Marvel Legends, ideally, and Star Wars Black Series and Power Rangers Lightning Collection, those are all geared towards adult collectors. There are basic lines that Power Rangers has a basic figure line. Star Wars has a basic figure line. Marvel has a basic figure line that are cheaper and meant specifically for kids. So I don't know, you guys get the point. I feel like I'm kind of starting to ramble on now. It's a very stressful situation uh, because I've been on the rise and now my channel could just basically be killed off and that could be the end of the toy room. Uh, I may have to make a new channel. Uh, I don't know, uh, it's very stressful. I, I may start a new channel and hopefully get you guys maybe to come over to that channel. I'll have to start from scratch uh, because this channel may get killed off. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I'll keep you guys updated, none of this is going to fully go into effect until January 1st, but YouTube is already kind of starting to, um, to weed everybody out, uh, track down all the toy channels and tell them that their videos are recommended for kids when they're not, and, um, yeah, so I'll leave a link down in the comment below where you can comment at the FTC, uh, let them know your concerns, what's going on, defend us, and... Yeah, so I think that's it. Um, this is going to be unedited, so it's going to be a long video. I apologize. Um, but yeah, I'll be in the comments with you guys during this live stream. So yeah, that's it. I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. You guys know the rest. I'll see you guys next time.